Hello everyone, welcome back to GGN. This is part three for this news bulletin today, Wednesday, September 26, 2012. My website is ggnonline.com and on YouTube is ddarko2012 and ddarko2013. All right, so we left off with the end of the Somalia pirate days and um, uh, the continuation of the colonization of Africa for the resources. We're just talking about British Canadian oil companies coming into Somalia and uh you know it just it really does kind of suck you know that none of these people will be able to do something on their own um without violence without having to have other foreign countries come in with all their investments and all that crap right telling them what to do putting in their puppet governments u.s special forces are being deployed in iraq again despite the official u.s military withdrawal last december american special forces recently return to Iraq on a counterterrorism mission, according to the American general in charge of weapons sales there. The mission was reported by the New York Times. It says the irony is that the U.S. is protecting a pro-Iran or Iran Shiite regime in Baghdad against a Sunni-based insurgency, while at the same time supporting a Sunni-led movement against the Iran-backed dictatorship in Syria. The Sunni rebellions are occurring in the vast Sunni region, between northwestern Iraq and southern Syria, where borders are porous. During the Iraq War, many soldier insurgents from Anbar and uh, Dayala provinces took sanctuary in Sunni areas of Syria. It says now they are turning their weapons on two targets, the al-Maliki government in Baghdad and the Assad regime in Damascus. The U.S. is caught in the contradictions of proxy wars favoring Iran's ally in Iraq while trying to displace Iran's proxy in Syria. Iraqi Kurds expect Baghdad's first payment to clear next week, so Iraqi Kurdistan expects an initial payment of 1 trillion dinars or um, $858 million from the central government in Baghdad to clear next week after the two sides reach a deal on paying oil producers. So after an agreement was reached earlier this month, the autonomous region's exports will resume in October at 200,000 barrels per day. The Kurdistan regional government expects to meet its 2015 targets of exporting 1 million barrels per day, even if there are further disruptions. So enters Turkey. In a surprise move, Erdogan invites Iraq's Maliki to Turkey. Come on, let's talk Let's talk some oil there, buddy. So he had reportedly sent an official invitation to Ankara to his Iraqi counterpart in a bid to defuse the tension. They say Turkey, to say the reasons, Turkey's hosting of Iraq's fugitive vice president, who was sentenced to death earlier this month in trial and terror trial on charges of running death squads is the chief factor that has torn Ankara from Baghdad apart. So the two leaders have publicly traded insults several times this year as relations have soured. In return, Maliki has vehemently criticized the Turkish Prime Minister for, for meddling in Iraq's internal affairs. And I'll cover this for a third time. Erdogan tells media not to cover the Kurdish conflict. Tells journalists not to cover the soldiers' death or other news related to the conflict with Kurd separatists. Denmark orders PKK linked Kurdish TV channel to stop broadcasting. The Kurdish satellite broadcaster in Denmark has been ordered to cease broadcasting for two months, says Danish TV uh, radio board that ruled Wednesday. The Turkish government has long called for the closure of ROJ TV. Danish authorities that rejected earlier calls to shut down the broadcaster, saying that they had not been able to establish that it had supported or incited violence. Remember this article, I just covered it from the 25th. Turkey's pro-Kurd party urges talks to end the Kurdish conflict. So the head of the Turkish uh, party has called for talks between the government and Kurdish militants to prevent a further escalation of violence, which he said could undermine efforts to draw up a new, more liberal constitution. So what happens? Turkey steps up military operations to detain key PKK leaders. They say fighting with collaborators of the terrorist organization is as important as fighting with terrorists. Of course, this is good propaganda coming from the Turkish uh, regime, as you could say. Capturing those who disseminate fear and violence in the region, who enlist members for terrorist organizations by force, I'm sure there's those that volunteer, and who provoke our people against the state, is the vital importance for ensuring the continuity of our state and safety of our people in other words disseminating maybe some truth about their um about some of the things that they're doing all right and we'll finish up with this as far as mid-east news goes uh, u.s envoy praises yemen on militants despite embassy attacks so we're talking about factions splitting all people trying to create their own states their own autonomous states and stuff like that uh, the north and the south just talking about yemen and that 
uh, Mali. The U.S. ambassador to Yemen says the government is fighting an effective war against al-Qaeda militants, but he is concerned about security lapse during an attack on the U.S. embassy. He said he didn't believe that most Yemenis held anti-American sentiments, and I beg to differ with that. It says here they've been in turmoil since a revolt against former ruler Saleh, who Washington had long backed as someone to keep militants in check. The new leader of Yemen came to power after a power transfer accord in November brokered by Saudi Arabia and backed by the United States. So this is why I think that they don't like the United States. Why? Because besides providing with military training and material, uh, as well as, what, controversial drone strikes. So this is what I'm getting to. It played an active role in the military offensive earlier this year to remove militants from towns in the south Yemen that occupied during the last year's uprising. So this is what it's all about. Yemeni president ready for talks with al-Qaeda. We're talking about a secession here. He's offered to hold talks with al-Qaeda militants only if they give up their arms and renounce violence, capitulate, announce their repentance. This is interesting. He added mediators, I wonder who that is, the Saudi Arabia and U.S., pressured me to accept dialogue. And lastly, South Yemen wants secession referendum, says separatist leader from March. This is from March 2011. And uh, what happened was what? Uh, this member, a senior member of the southern movement, ran South Yemen until 1990 when it negotiated unification with tribal, more conservative North. So th they thought that they were going to get their secession referendum after Saleh fell, but it didn't happen, right? Because I got another another puppet in there. West so here we go. Unity agreement was based on sharing powers and resources. He said the experiment has utterly failed. We were fooled. South Yemen is under occupation, and most of our resources are going to the north. Then to China and Asia, experts says China's special forces fighting spirit is stronger, but lack of combat experience. So on August 10th, two experts of the People's Liberation Army of the Military Sciences wrote an article in the China's Youth Daily to describe the features of China's special forces and admitted that lack of combat experiments, experience, and experiments, that's what it is too, right, is a big disadvantage of Chinese Green Berets. So remember I was talking about how most of these corporations, companies, uh, countries are probably... Uh, just business it's just you know they're all just uh, basically in cahoots as they say right um in the first half of this year chinese special forces uh took part in blue assault 2012 and sharp knife 2012 joint training with the marine corps in thailand and indonesia special forces so it says here's sino foreign special forces joint training has been normalized so basically until there's just special forces and then there's the terrorists until eventually the terrorists are people that just want to be left alone. Basically mixing um, these Islamic extremists, the few minority that are usually backed by the Saudi Qatar, uh, uh, Zionist, and Western uh, forces or intelligence, they usually back those, but then there's always this kind of separatist group that is legitimate from the grassroots, and then they link them with Al-Qaeda like they did in Yemen. So we're talking about a global, um, uh, basically special forces used to clamp down on individuals and sovereign states. Uh, basically to, cre to create this big global empire, global order. Think again, China's military is not time to panic yet from March 2010. I included this because I remember uh, this article. China's armed forces are the biggest in the world. But what? China's one-child policy uh, generation will weaken its military. So they're talking about recruits. The one-child policy is widely perceived as creating a generation of spoiled, overweight boys dubbed little emperors who are doted on by four grandparents while their parents toil to support them in the fields, factories, and uh, offices. <clears throat> it says here that they haven't performed as well in other ways. Only child recruits are not as tough. They don't like to go through the pain of intense training. They call in sick more frequently, and they struggle to perform some simple uh, chores like doing their own laundry. If too much hand-holding is required for these recruits, the PLA could find itself all suited up for modern warfare, but without the soldiers ready to fight it. So here we go. From the uh, 26th of September, ex-generals say this generation is too fat to fight. It says uh, 100 retired generals and admirals conclude a report that being overweight or obese turns out to be the leading medical reason why applicants fail to qualify for military service. Today, otherwise excellent recruits prospects some of them with generations of sterling military service are being turned away because they're just too overweight. Then I found this article right here. Uh, U.S. students bellyache over new anti-obesity lunches. Students are complaining that they aren't even getting a filling lunch as schools introduce new dietary guidelines aimed at combating obesity among young Americans. 
the irony of course is what like if they show it like this it's uh you know I don't have to go into all the milk and uh, steroids, growth hormones, uh, dead microbes because they pasteurize it. Um, the pear that has pesticides, herbicides, fertilizers on it. This, which probably has high fructose corn syrup, food coloring, all sorts of stuff. So it's not even healthy, right? They just want you to look thin. They want you to look, quote, right, bulimic, which is why uh, Lady Gaga was, uh, you know, being bashed by the media. Yes. I am actually sticking up for Lady Gaga here. <laughs> Dude, it's like when I heard that, I was like, I don't give a flip if she's gained weight. So what? At least she's not a toothpick, right? But that's part of the engineering, right? And the blowback is like Katie Kerr coming out and saying, oh, you know, I suffer with bulimia. Well, that's because of the programming. So maybe they're getting people ready for war, right? The future. In suicides, but I don't think it's going to be that because it's going to be machines, right? And cyborgs. In suicides, uh, Army faces steepest challenge. From September 25th, 2012, facing an enemy it can't seem to defeat. It's because it's not the point. It's occupation, exploitation of resources. The Army continues to lose more soldiers to suicide than to combat in Afghanistan. Which is why they're doing what? They're experimenting on them even more, right? Military hopes antidepressant nasal spray will prevent suicides. So, to prevent the most tragic of outcomes, they're going to give them a nasal spray for suicide. So they're going to give a $3 million grant uh, to what? To the professor at Indiana U University. So your tax dollars are going to fund this research. And that's going to go to, like, Bayer Pharmaceuticals. And uh, then you're going to pay a lot of money for it, right? And you paid for the R. The I-Team, the Army's Secret Cold War Experiments on St. Louisians. I don't even know how you pronounce that, but check out the video. The link will be posted. Uh, they uncover details of the Army's ultra-secret military experiments carried out in St. Louis and other cities during the 50s and 60s. Said that they independently verified the spraying of zinc cadmium sulfide in St. Louis on thousands of unsuspecting citizens. That's what I always say. Well, you should suspect. You should be suspecting something like chemtrails, right? I'm suspecting it. So 40 years on the road, when they say, oh, yeah, actually, we were spraying back in the 80s and the 50s and, and stuff like that with these, quote, chemtrails. Conspiracy theorists were right. Yeah, that's the thing. If you're a suspecting citizen, you're a conspiracy theorist. You should be unsuspecting. Says the study was secretive for a reason. They didn't have volunteers stepping up and saying, yeah, I'll breathe zinc, cadmium, sulfide with radio particulars. And that's why they have a law. They can do this illegally to, 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 to test and experiment on the, on the civilian population, so, as well as the military. Yeah, in Texas, planes were used to drop the chemical, but in St. Louis, the Army placed chemical sprayers on buildings and station wagons. So the, so the Army can test smoke screens to protect cities from the Russian attack, which is a bunch of bullshit. I was just mentioning this in a comment earlier. The whole Cold War thing. This is a bunch of bullshit. You know how much testing they were doing, how much experiments they were doing after all the technology they got out of that military uh, industrial complex operation? I mean, all that technology that came out of Nazi Germany, uh, they took it out and they just ran with it. And they, they worked on mind control patsies, uh, super soldiers, all sorts of uh, weapons and stuff like that. And then they just tested on their own populations. It had nothing to do with po possible attacks. So they said that uh, there's that they went to great lengths to deceive people. An estimated 70% uh, say they were, uh, there were children under the age of 12 that were involved. But what was un unclear is whether the Army added radioactive material to the compound. Then EPA human testing, particulate matter causes premature death. It doesn't make you sick. It's directly causal to dying sooner than you think. So EPA has been sued in federal court over illegal human testing. It says here, um, over conducting illegal life and health threatening scientific experiments on human subjects. Based on thousands of pages of documents obtained by the FOIA, the lawsuit alleges that the EPA intentionally exposed at least dozens of unhealthy human study subjects who concentrate in elevated levels of air pollutants that the EPA has determined are lethal, highly toxic, and carcinogenic. Many of the test subjects were health impaired, i.e. over 75 years old in that, said the purpose of the experiment was to simply see what would happen when health impaired people inhaled highly toxic substances. <laughs> Get this bullshit cancer deaths will fall by 17 percent by 2030 as treatment improves and people stop smoking so it's funny because what cancer care to cost more than double in some u.s states by 2020 so so you got to have the money to survive in this brave new world of eugenics in florida the court approves detaining motorists at a toll booth if they use large uh, denominations of cash and they already give preferential treatment to those that don't use cash. Woman 83 gunned down like an animal by a police officer after she called them to report an intruder in her home. She was shot and killed.
because she had her own gun and because she ignored the request to drop her weapon. In Houston, a cop kills a double amputee in a in wheelchair and officers cleared in every case of excessive force since 07. And a cop calls for backup after a suspicious light turns out to be the moon. Thank you.